Hi, in this Figma tutorial, I'd like to tell you about the difference between guides and layout grids and when it's best to use one versus the other. So let's dive right in. For this example, I have two frames, one for guides, one for layout grids. I'll press Shift R on the keyboard to show the rulers and I'll begin to drag in the rulers into the guides frame. So let's make this outer border representing some padding within a frame. And as you can tell, whenever I pull an object into a frame, I can snap it anywhere along the guides. So the main difference with guides is that they're static. And what I mean by that is when I select this frame and I begin to drag it around, the guides are only positioned wherever I place them. So now let's take a look at layout grids. I'll go ahead and select my layout grid frame. I'll add a layout grid in the properties pane. Change the grid type to columns. Now let's make this layout grid appear a little bit more like our guides. So I'll change the count to one. I'll change the color opacity to 50%. I'll change the margin to 80 and I'll change the gutter to zero. Okay, so this gives us this vertical column, a lot like our guides. I'll copy that layout grid. I'll paste it again. I'll go into the layout grid properties. I'll change from columns to rows. Now we have our layout grids, which look a lot more like our guides. Now, the main difference with layout grids is that they're dynamically resized within our frame. So if I take the frame and move it around like this, you can see that it resizes along with the frame while keeping the gutters that we specified in the layout grid properties. Other thing I can do with the frame selected is go in and add additional count for columns, such as this six. Our layout grids are again, dynamically resized with the frame. And if I drag this button inside of the frame, I can attach it to any of these columns. And if I resize the frame once again, the button will be attached exactly to the column where I placed it. So there you go. That's the main difference between guides and layout grids. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Peace.